talking and texting for free when you know me? You need to become a trained phone operator and sexter. Yes, we still getting coin. You can do this 100% anonymously in your drawers at home. We build your profile. We train you. We coach you. We do everything we need to to make sure you get these results. So if you want to make some money sitting in your drawers at home, you need to come hit us up for a small investment fee. We do all the heavy work, so all you got to do is have a heavy bank account, all right? So go to mobilemoney365.com and hit us in the DM to get these coins, girl! to single moms, even married single moms, that when I used to tell people that I have toddlers and I'm a stay-at-home wife, the number one thing they used to always say is, oh my God, I bet your hands are so full. I bet that's so busy for you. And I didn't want to tell them the truth that I'm spoiled as hell and I have tons of help because nine times out of 10, they'll also say, well, I have three kids of my own, so I know how difficult it is. And the whole time they're trying to project their situation onto me, I'm thinking in my head, well, dang, you probably should have gotten knocked up by somebody else. But I have to stand there and smile and nod and pretend I know what it's like to be a mother that just has a difficult life but I can't relate. I'm spoiled as hell. I do whatever I want to do. Heck, I'm about to head to the spa right now. I don't clean my own house. I've never had restless nights. I've never had to change diapers by myself. I even hired somebody recently to come cook for us on Monday, Wednesdays, or Fridays. I'm just spoiled. I have an easy life. Kids are not. And that's because I made the right decision on who I laid down and got pregnant by. My husband and I planned our kids. And the number one thing I told him before I even got pregnant was I'm not going to be one of those stay-at-home moms that are miserable as hell stuck in the house with kids. Yeah, it was crazy. Society is so used to single moms, even married single moms. Okay, I was going. Okay, I probably should. Okay, I'm sorry. I do want to get into some of the comments. Okay. Oh, I farted. All right. So let's see. Uh, let's share this screen because I think these comments are interesting. So I'm going to get into the comments and then we're going to talk about how I feel about the comments, how I feel about everything that she just said. All right. Shar Shahalat, you are not a mother or a wife. Um, you know, these same kids will be on drugs. And if the man loses anything, she will be useless. She's no mother. She's looking for a rich man. She doesn't know anything about her kids. She will never leave. She will leave a husband and with the kids. If he's broke, she will look for another rich man. This is wonderful for her, but the arrogance is out putting the narrative of choose better is so shallow. I've known many people who choose well and are right now miserable and divorced because who they chose was a liar. She should not be miserable. She should be spoiled and is correct about sending her princess, but attitudes towards other women is unfortunate. So you just carried the child for him. Okay, I don't feel like looking at it anymore. All right, so I think this is fascinating. I was talking to my sister about it, and you know, it is really amazing um, that people have taken issue with the bitterness and the stupid shit that people are saying in the comments. It's absolutely fascinating. So I think it was a man that was talking about he just she just wants the money. Okay, so. Again, I think that that's really interesting, um, considering the fact that it's usually men that are telling women that they need to choose better. You know, whenever a woman has, you know, multiple baby, baby dads, even if she just has one and she has some complaints about him or it's not the way she needs to be or he's not doing what he needs to do. Okay, cool. Um, I think that that's really um, interesting that she actually chose better, planned her pregnancy. And now people are just like coming up with all these scenarios in which that's going to still make her be the bitter baby mom that they are more comfortable witnessing. You know what I'm saying? So, um, you know, so her attitude towards other women. Um, you can take it like that. I mean, hit dogs do holler. I'm not I don't even know if that person that said that has a child, but if you take your weird ass emotions out of it, uh, she said, choose carefully on who you get pregnant by and you can avoid a lot of issues. So stop fucking broke dudes. Stop dealing with dudes who don't have the same parenting ideals as you. Stop dealing with dudes who maybe have money, but think you are supposed to be in house all day doing all the work and all that shit who could be financially abusive, you know, actually plan a pregnancy. See, every, people plan everything but a pregnancy. They put details and go, you want to go to Greece, you want to go you take your little basic ass trip to the Bahamas once every five years. You have everything lined out. The, the Airbnb, the hotel, you didn't budget it. You done, done all of this. You know who can pick up at the airport. You have all that down together. But when it comes to planning a life and planning or bring a person in life, a lot of people do awful jobs at deciding who they want to be tied to for life. 
Krishan Rock, prime example, and maybe some of y'all. You know, you just need to own the fact that I saw, I see, I do understand, yes, that there's a lot of people and men and shit who fake their personality. Absolutely. The bait and switch is real, but I guarantee you, if we are doing the work, we can see the signs a lot of times. I do feel like, you know, we as a people, well, a lot of women choose to have men with awful motherfucking men. And men choose to have kids with awful women. You know what I'm saying? And so I think that this is a very loaded thing. I mean, why do we choose our partners? Well, daddy issues, unresolved trauma, um, self-esteem issues, self-worth issues. You know, we can go down the list of why we are choosing the partners that we are choosing. But this woman, as of now, now y'all can project awful things happening to her in her life 10 years into the future. You know, you can talk about how her kids might be on drugs and all of this. You can say all of that. But it's funny how y'all only want to get into the future with the possibilities when there's some shit you got an issue with. Because if a woman says, I'm single now, but I'm creating a life that I want. Oh, but you're single now. But you got a man now. But you got a man. Well, you know what? She ain't got none of them struggle problems right now. Right now, her life is good. Right now, she has a nanny. She has help. Because anybody who's ever raised kids, which I haven't, but I've been around enough people, it actually takes more than two to fucking raise a kid. It does take a fucking village. It takes a lot of people to get together and raise a kid. So she, like, in one thing, I don't like a lot of things about the Nigerian culture, but one thing I do like is that the that the men, even though they work all day, they still hire help for the woman at home to take care of the house. If you look at the motherfucking the, the 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 wealthy people, all of the wealthy people, people who can afford it, hire help, and so people are saying, "Oh, she's useless. She's useless." Actually, she's just not used up and miserable. So the only way a woman can be useful is if she's struggling, exerting herself, miserable, depressed, uh, doing all the work, losing sleep, unhealthy because she's stressed out. That's the only way, according to y'all, that a woman can be useful in raising her kids. There is a such thing as raising your kids with help. Because you planned it. She planned and manifested the husband that she wanted that had her aligned values. She didn't decide to marry a dude who thinks that the women don't, that you, that she, they, they, that you don't need a maid because you need to wash the dishes. No, she was, seems like she was very careful. Seems like whenever she was dating, she said, you know what? Okay, so how do you feel about, you know, if I do have kids, am I going to have to do it all myself? Or, I mean, or uh, what do you think about hired help? They lined up on that. She felt like, yeah, of course, we're going to make sure you have people to cook and clean to help you to do that. Absolutely. That's how life is supposed to be. Y'all are too accustomed to being broken, struggling. Y'all can't relate. Y'all have a disdain towards anything that's struggle-free. Y'all have a disdain towards women who are having relationships and getting treated right. Y'all have a disdain and an envy and a jealousy towards people who have the money to hire the help that they need. Just say that. See, you have to learn when you're hating and when you're not. See, I be hating sometimes. You know what I'm saying? And I know I'm hating. I be like, I'm over here hating. You know what I'm saying? I'm hating. I'm hating right now. Hell, I know it. I'm definitely, If I'm feeling lonely or some shit like that, and I see a bitch with a phone. Sometimes I won't be around them happy bitch about talking about their relationship. I'm hating right now. I be, I be, look, I'm hating right now. I don't want to hear about that shit. Like, I will tell my friends, look, I don't want to hear about how happy it is with your man right now because I ain't got mine, so I don't hear. Or whatever it is. You know what I'm saying? If somebody got a lot of money and I'm feeling broke right now, I don't want to hear about all of the business deals that you just made. Let me go raise my vibration a little bit and come back to you then tell me the story. You have to have the kind of self-awareness, but y'all don't. So y'all are sitting there coming up with all of this shit. Who was sitting there thinking about doing drugs? So, so a child that is not getting the attention and the love that they need because the mom is stressed out, overworked is somehow going to be in a better mental position than one who has some help. Who actually, when you do get a chance to get with your mother, she's refreshed, she's renewed, she's happy, she's not stressed out, she's not projecting that. Y'all, those comments are examples of why ignorant ass niggas are where they are because y'all are stupid. And I can talk about my own people the way I want to talk about them because I'm a part of the community and I can say what I want to say. All right. So the bottom line is, I don't know what the, the bottom line is, y'all just y'all don't believe in therapy. Y'all don't believe in doing anything but going to praise Jesus every blue moon or every other day, and you realize it's doing nothing for you. So you don't take any value in doing the personal development work and going to therapy. Because if you went therapy at a young age, your daddy issues would have had a higher chance of being resolved. Therefore, you would not have chose the dead big dad who just like your dad, and you would be in a situation where you're struggling now, resenting the woman who chose correctly. That's all it is. You know what I'm saying? So we can trace this back to the black community and the ignorance. You know what I'm saying? I like to struggle. If I'm not struggling, stressed out, if I don't hate life, 
If not, if I'm not crying every day in the shower because I'm stressed out, I'm not a real mother. That's really how y'all think. Y'all think struggle, y'all, and that's religion. Religion teaches you to struggle and struggle and struggle. So y'all keep struggling y'all broke asses to the motherfucking tabernacle and keep giving all of the $5 you got out of your low ass check to the rich ass pastor while he running game and playing in y'all face and eat pussy and shit, eat young boy pussy, all he be doing because y'all are too dumb to realize it's all bullshit. You're supposed to have money and you're supposed to be you supposed to want to be wealthy. You're supposed to get to a level. I don't care if you're male, female, whatever. Your desire a no, or natural desire is for you to get the money so that you can be do that easy. And you should not want any kids until you can do that. Until you can actually be spoiled, have be refreshed, renewed, and happy. And, and I can imagine the quality of time that she's spending with her children is so much better than these overworked, undersupported mothers. Y'all are so used to that. Everything she said is fact. Y'all are so used to struggle that you're offended by non-struggle. She's not a wife. She's going to leave him as soon as she get money. That's amazing how you decided that because she was smart enough to not choose a broke baby daddy that now she's all about money. I think she's smart. Money is a big fucking factor in relationships. Infidelity and money are the two reasons why couples are divorcing, which tells you, dummy, you need to pay attention to fucking money. Nobody should want to be with a broke man who can't afford stuff. And men, y'all say all the time, you don't care about the money, you don't care about money. Okay, if you don't care about the money, I'm going to go with your narrative. You shouldn't care about our money. You, you and Kevin Samuels, every time we bring up, we can support ourselves. You only care about when a woman has money when it makes your point more valid. You know what I'm saying? If we're telling you one of the things we bring to the table is, you know, I have my money. We don't care about that. Okay, well, I'm a broke bitch with no motivation. See? Mm-mm. She a liability. She, all she want to do is just, just, just spend about my money. Bitch, make up your mind. So I love this video because it shows that you can't be fucking spoiled. You deserve to be spoiled. It's supposed to be easy. It does not have to be hard. Raising children is challenging enough with help. I don't give a fuck how you do it. I remember Kardashian said it's difficult being a single mother. Oh, you got money. Y'all are idiots. Y'all still think that money solves everything. It does not. But it does absolutely help. And it is supposed to be like this. Y'all are just, and the religion makes you feel like you shouldn't have abortions. So you have an abort, you have a baby when you're fucking broke. Don't know nothing about the baby daddy. Baby daddy, you, you just over here. Uh, getting people knocked up and shit like that. Both parties are dumb. You're procreating when you don't need to be, when it's unplanned, you struggle. You're, you're, you're not a good parent because you're stressed out. That leads to all kinds of mistreatment of the, of, of the child, all kind of trauma of the trial. And that's why you are where you are. I'm not trying to say because you have money, you don't have trauma. That's stupid. I wouldn't say that. I don't say dumb things like you do. I understand that people who come from money can have trauma. People who don't can have trauma. But it's certain things we can try to prevent. Your goal is to start off shit at the best foot that you can. You know what I'm saying? I understand that uh, 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 a, a, uh, that um, as we get older, sometimes our skin may sag. Maybe we'll put on a little bit of weight as we get into our 60s and 70s. But I'm not going to start a relationship with a fat nigga because that's not what I like. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I understand people can lose money. I get that. People can lose money. Money goes up and down. The economy shifts. Vibrations, which manifest money, shifts. I'm a business owner. It's, I can be up, you know, business is up and down. It's not always going to be perfect. But I'm not going to start off no relationship with a broke nigga and hope to build it. It doesn't make any actual sense. And the thing is, y'all know it doesn't make any sense. Y'all are just triggered because it doesn't, that woman don't match, the, the woman wouldn't want you. No one should have any issue with what she said. But a lot of niggas do. If you hating on her, just say I'm hating right now. Just like I just, I be hating. I, I know what I'm hating. Like, I know what I'm hating. Like, what the fuck? Like, if I see a bitch with a body better than mine, I, I might hate for a second. Then I'll probably be like, you know what? Hating is just, it's just, it's just, a, it's, it's just an unnurtured desire. And I can nurture it right now. It could be unnurtured one second and nurtured the second. Ain't nothing wrong with it. Just say, damn, I wish I'd have chose better. Y'all are going to have to make up y'all mind. It's really fascinating, this whole choose better thing. It's so fascinating. It's so fascinating. It's absolutely fascinating. Because men will say, you can sit there and say, man, my baby daddy did this, my baby daddy did this, and a man in my life did this. Oh, my God, it's terrible. Well, that's on you. Take accountability. You chose that man. You choose better. You need to go to therapy. You know what? You're right. I do need to go to therapy. All right, shoot you with the therapy. All right, so what's up with me and you? No, because therapy taught me I need to avoid niggas like you. So I'm good. Oh, what the fuck? You're masculine. You're masculine. Oh, okay. I see. 
So choosing better is only okay with you if that better choice is you. Make up y'all's mind. Plan your pregnancies the way you plan your trip to the club. Y'all plan a fucking single de Mayo celebrations. Y'all plan a trip to trip a strip a trip to the strip club. And I'm not putting this all on motherfucking women. You, it's impossible to put this all on women because babies don't come without the man's ejaculation. I don't care what I want. I need that seed to get a baby. The only way I can get that baby is if you let off in me. Shout out to Brian Puffer. That's one of his porn I used to watch. You have to let off in me in order for me to have a baby. You hold that nut, I don't get a baby. Unless there's a small chance of pre can get me pregnant. But let's talk about the majority of the time. Conception is 100% on the man. We both made a decision to have raw sex. You made the decision to come to me, which is the which is all on you. I don't care what I say, I don't care what I did. You wanted to come in my position, you did. Giving birth 100% on a woman. So men, you need to plan your pregnancy. Why can't you actually plan out who you want to have who you want to have a baby with and do what it takes to do it with? So that you can wait until you are that man that can provide all of that. And if you are a man who feels like, I'm not going to hire help because what I need you for, bitch, that job is hard, which is exactly why you would not trade places with her even if you could. You would not say, let me spend all day with the kids, with a toddler while you go work. You wouldn't even, you would not even want it. You wouldn't last a week. Going and getting money and working is incredibly valuable. We love you. We appreciate you for it. But that same fucking shit goes for the other way around. And women do absolutely need help. Why do you want a stressed out, overwhelmed, tired, unhappy mother around your kids? You need to be sure you can hire some help. Stop acting like having money ain't important. And if you don't have the money, how about you heal your relationship with your family members so they can help out too? Because you need a village. I've talked to parents. Two ain't really enough. So one is still a lot. I don't care if that's all I'm doing. It's a lot. Stop downplaying it because we're not going to downplay you going to get money. That's very important. Both of these things are vital, which is why y'all niggas set the patriarchy up that way because it worked for a while. So the bottom line is, if you're triggered by her video, acknowledge that you're triggered. Don't make her wrong. Don't make her wrong for planning who she had a kid with, making sure that before she got pregnant, that they were aligned. I don't know her whole backstory, but I'm assuming she made sure she waited for a while before she got pregnant. And then she did that. How do you know what about that video makes you feel like that she would leave her children or leave him if she if he had financial problems? So a woman can't be smart enough to want a man with some money and be loyal and loving? Is it is is it is it just only two ways to be? She could be what you're saying. She could be the nigga he he lost some money, so fucking she could do that. She could, but she also could be a, like like most people who actually value and love their husband and appreciates the fact that he takes care of them and would be there for for her. Like, why does it? Why did? Why does wanting financial stability mean gold digger? Do you not understand the meaning of gold digger? Or do you not understand that finances play a very important part in relationships? It's not that hard to understand. He chose her. So she must have many qualities that he deemed worthy of putting her in that position. He has to. How she's just useless but getting treated like that? No, he values a multitude of things that she does. 
And like, it's like, man, y'all, I, I swear, like y'all act so conveniently dumb because you're stupid and triggered and you don't go to therapy. You think like this because you refuse to go to therapy. That's why you're stupid. Because you refuse to go to fucking therapy. Because you don't even see that you do the same thing with women. With sex. If he lost all his money, she is safe. Fuck it. If she lost her ability to, and desire to have sex due to whatever, I don't know, postpartum, the mental health accident, you would cheat. Just like you do with the women who don't who don't have them issues. What the fuck? I'm I'm not mad at your desire and 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 and, and the importance that you put on sex. I get it. I understand it. I understand why you would cheat if she's not fucking. I get that. Sex, monogamy, and marriage and, and finances are the three things to separate people. So clearly it's something to talk about. Y'all be online hollering about how you y'all have been online hollering about how you only want a bitch pussy for years. So if, if women want to holler about how they only want your money, shut the fuck up and stop being a bitch. But back to the video. More women need to take notes. Do your fucking best to plan your marriages, your relationships, and your pregnancies. Because it's a very important decision that you decide to tie your life with. Go to therapy. Find the right therapist meditate do all of these things so that this so red flags not only don't get by you but you can call them out and remove yourself if need be you're not going to therapy you don't have the self-awareness you're not doing the work to even do it and even when you are doing the work it can still happen i'm not trying to say you need to be perfect at a therapy maker but it will definitely help you to avoid some of these mistakes religion telling people to keep the baby and all that shit religion is just the, the, the really causes so many fucking issues Religion tells you to either it's easy for a poor man to get rich man to get into heaven, I have a needle camel, all that shit. Fuck all that. Religion is stupid. And if you believe in talking snakes spiritually, you're not smart. That's just all it is. You just spiritually challenge if you believe in talking snakes and shit. But follow, take notes. You should feel proud of her. And happy that it is not another statistical story of struggle and neglect within the black community. Y'all say y'all tired of seeing it. And when you don't see it, you're mad. You need to check yourself. Be smarter. Stop fucking niggas who ain't got no motherfucking money. Stop. Just stop. And if y'all go fuck them all you want, but don't have a baby. And then complain about the struggle. And then get mad because she ain't make the choices you make. She was smart about her fucking reproductive organs you be smart too if you got a problem with it that's your ass all right peace let me know what y'all think why are you talking in texas for free when you know me you need to become a trained phone operator and sexter yes we still getting coin you can do this 100 percent anonymously in your drawers at home we build your profile we train you we coach you we do everything we need to, to make sure you get these results so if you want to make some money sitting in your drawers at home you need to come hit us up for a small investment fee we do all the heavy work so all you got to do is have a heavy bank account all right so go to mobilemoney365.com and hit us in the dm to get these coins girl